What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Rolling and tumbling. This is one of the most famous Delta Blues songs ever. So many guys have played this. Muddy Waters, R.L. Burnside, Elmore James. The list goes on and on. Cream and Clapton. That's what we're going to talk about today is the Clapton version from the Unplugged album. The pulse is going pretty straightforward like this, but the way that it's arranged is kind of weird. It's hard to like predict when the section's gonna come up next, but I'm gonna break it down for you. It's a series of call and response phrases. We've seen this in blues a bunch of times before. One call phrase. That's the call phrase, and then the response phrase sounds like this. And he'll repeat that a different number of times every single time through. Let's check this out and kind of, I'll talk about kind of his little variations that he's putting on there. So they kind of pick up right in the middle of the jam. So three responses that time. Notice that time it was two responses. Each section of the song is broken into three of those call and response phrases. So meaning we're going to play one call phrase, then the response phrases, either two or three, then it goes back to this fifth position with the second call phrase, then three response phrases, two or three response phrases. Then the third time through, he's gonna play up here. To get the third call phrase. So once you do those three, then the whole thing starts over again. I'm gonna play the two response and then the three response phrase so you can hear the difference. One, two, three. And then you would repeat. So see how the variation happens there? And it kind of, it leaves you off guard when you're listening and it's hard to know when the next section's coming up. I mapped out basically the whole song and how many times he does it when he's playing it. So we'll start with the chorus section and it'll do three responses. The second round through, he plays two responses every single time. The third time through, he's gonna play a variation with the solo, which, is, which I'll show you right now, which is just single notes. doing the solo section, single notes, two responses. Two responses. This time he's going to do three. Now, I've arranged this, the way I'm playing it now is kind of for solo guitar, if you're playing this and singing by yourself. The way he's playing with like 15 people on stage, there it seems like there's like four different guitar players. Notice the variations he's doing. Sometimes he does three responses, sometimes he does two responses. The randomness of it, there's no way that the band knows beforehand. 
And you can kind of hear in certain sections where the band is just kind of listening and they're trying to follow along. For these guys, it's easy enough for them to follow along just by listening. But it is, it keeps you on your toes. You know, if you're trying to play along with him, you got to listen to when he's starting the phrase again. Otherwise, you're going to be playing, you know, the response phrase while he's all the way. You know, you're not going to be lined up with the band. So they got to really be listening to what he's doing. Okay, so here they're playing kind of like the solo section, and they're just repeating that response phrase over and over and over. And he's kind of soloing on top of it. Um. It's almost kind of like um, Death Letter Blues a little bit. Uh. Okay, so that's pretty easy to follow. Um, just kind of ending up here at the 12th fret. Let me just play one round of the whole thing slow so you guys can try to follow along. One, two, three. Let's do three. One last tip though, I've talked about this before, but I think it's easiest when you play with these uh, slides, when you kind of put them on the end of your knuckle, instead of jamming, instead of trying to jam it like all the way down your finger like this, a lot of people actually do play like that. I, I find that it's a lot easier to bend and maneuver around if you put it on the end of your finger, but that runs into a big issue here is that how is it going to stay on? So I've got a bunch of solutions for that. Today, what I'm doing, this probably isn't the best solution, but this works sometimes, is I've actually kind of wrapped band-aids in there on the inside of it, if you can kind of see inside there. Um, it's just kind of band-aids that are wrapped inside out on the sticky side on the inside there. So that way when I stick my finger in there, it has a little bit of grip to it. The other way that I really like to do it is just to tear off a piece of a paper towel and then wrap that around your finger and then jam your finger into the slide, okay? So that's the last tip. I've talked about that before, but if you haven't done that, if you haven't tried that, give it a shot. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to play. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.